Well, hello everyone. We're gonna do some of this video as just a voiceover because you know how it is when you're taking an engine apart, your hands get dirty and I didn't want to be handling my phone. So we got a Jeep Tornado 230. It came out of a 1966 J3000 Jeep. This is me pulling the engine out of the Jeep. It was pretty clean pull. The guy that uh, had this before me, he rebuilt it and didn't even start it. So everything was very clean. Still had a lot of the engine assembly lubricant. Um, I think it's been probably 30 or 40 years since he did the rebuild. So all the gaskets were dead. So we are gonna need a new gasket kit, but literally everything else was in perfect, perfect condition. Well, today's the day. We're gonna crack open the 230 Tornado, see what it looks like inside. Hopefully I can get a pretty detailed, documented teardown of this motor because the only ones I've ever seen are in books. So anyways, this is it. 230 Tornado. This comes out of a Kaiser Jeep, a 1966 J3000. We're gonna swap it into the CJ5 I have, hopefully. Taking off the exhaust manifold was pretty straightforward. It simply just bolts on to the block there. A couple of views of what the exhaust manifold looks like on the block for you. I think there were like 10 bolts or something. Intake manifold, same thing. Literally just bolts on. Nothing special about it. Dipstick was attached to it, so you remove that, you can pull the dipstick. This thing had nice brass uh, freeze plugs, so don't need new freeze plugs at least. Removing the valve cover was very easy. Three nuts on top of it just hold it down. It exposes the valve train here. There are only six lobes on the camshaft. Each lobe opens the intake and the exhaust ports. Pretty simple design. One of the first overhead cams that was ever made. The rockers are held on by those nuts attached to the bolts. There are no lifters and there are no push rods. Okay everyone, so the 230 Tornado kind of gets its fame from being the first overhead cam type engine out there. I don't know if it was the very first or the first one that was used in like major production but this is what the top of the head looks like this is the camshaft right here so the rockers springs this is the camshaft here with the lobes there's one per cylinder so all of these little rocker arms right on these lobes here and the valves open and close this is the intake side so the lobe here, like this one right here, see how this is at the top of its travel. Um, we're open right now on the intake side and we're closed here on the exhaust side. So this one, as it rolls around to this side, will open up on the exhaust and, and uh, spit out all of the burnt gas. So, pretty darn cool. Next, I moved on to the water pump housing and the timing chain cover. Pretty simple, edge carriage bolts on. There are some straight bolts, but mostly just carriage bolts. Um, distributor pulled out really easy, just a couple bolts and it pulls out. And at the bottom there's the oil pump and it pulls out too. Very, very simple design. Here you can see I got the water pump housing off. Next came off the timing chain cover and you can see this enormous chain. On the sides, you can see the tensioner. With that all off, I was able to remove the chain, started pulling everything else off the top of the engine. So then I started working on the head, got all the head bolts off, there were like 15 of them. Um, but it's just like any other head, you literally just pull it off after you take all the bolts off. Interesting thing is you got intakes on one side, exhaust right on the other side. Um, Here's the top of the engine block. You can see the cylinders in there and all the pistons. They are domed. And here is the combustion chamber. 
a lot of the machine markings that the machinist left are still there so I could see what it was bored over and everything. There's a crankshaft. I stood it up on end and banged on it with a hammer and it rang like a bell. It sounded beautiful. Maybe I'll maybe I'll post a bell video for that crankshaft, but here are all of the parts of the engine. Just put them all out on this uh, table and on the floor there. Covered it with big tarp. I want to make sure they don't get dusty or dirty. All I have to do is get a new gasket kit and I'm going to put this thing back together. Beautiful engine, beautiful design. I can't wait to hear it run.